Hi YouTube, Engineer Boy 100 again. Today's video is on how a car's thermostat works. So my BMW M3 overheated on me and I finally figured out what the problem was. And the problem was the thermostat was not opening. The thermostat was stuck closed. So this is a little diagram of a thermostat. And this is a thermostat in a closed position. This little green, bluish green dots here is your coolant water mix. And this is it coming from the engine water jacket. As the engine gets hotter and heats up the coolant, the coolant heats this chamber right here. And this chamber is filled with wax, a specially thermally balanced wax that will expand at a certain rate and force this pin out that is inside of the wax. It forces this pin out and the pin is connected to the valve here, which opens and allows the coolant to flow at a very metered and measured rate to maintain the correct operating temperature of the engine. And as this um, wax cools, the valve will close. But sometimes this valve will either get stuck shut because of corrosion or dirt or the wax will leak out or the wax just gets old and doesn't expand right and the valve gets stuck shut. And then your car just gets hotter and hotter and hotter because the fluid never is allowed to flow because the valve never opens. Now, this valve also will be stuck open sometimes and it'll be stuck open too far. And then in that case, you will not allow your vehicle to reach the correct operating temperature. It will always run too cool. That's not good either. So the thermostat is very important. And if you're having problems with your cooling of your engine, you're probably having problems with your, well, oh man, it's a whole nother rabbit hole. But sometimes the indication that the coolant is not flowing correctly is that your heater does not heat. But that can also be you have a clogged um, heater core. So we don't want to get into that right now. That's a whole other video. So now my wife's not home right now. So I'm going to sneak down into the kitchen and do a little experiment on the stove. So, so I've got two thermostats here. And I'm going to bring this water to a boil. I've got the new thermostat here on the left. And I've got the old thermostat over here on the right. And I'm going to watch them both as the water heats up to see if they both open up the same or if one opens up more than the other. And I want to kind of check the new one to make sure it opens. And I'm going to check the old one to make sure, oh, just to verify that my suspicion that it's not opening correctly is right. So I'll check back in a bit when the water gets hot. Okay, I let it go for like another minute. It's been one minute and the new one is open quite nicely and the old one is not opened at all yet. So you can actually see that. I don't know if you can see the opening. See right there in the corner? I want to keep it in the water. See, that's open. Here's the old one. And it is still closed. And that is exactly what I suspected when my car was overheating that the thermostat was not opening. And now the, the new one is really opened well. So I'll go ahead and let's see if you can see. See how wide open that is? That, that space in there? See that space? That's what... Okay, so now we're at 100 degrees. Now we're boiling. And the old one still has not opened. See, this one is just barely cracked. It's not even opening. So, my diagnosis is correct. My thermostat was not opening, is why my car kept overheating and there was no leak. And if you want to know why I'm in the kitchen doing this, it's because my wife went to the store. So I snuck in here real quick to show you guys this, and now I get to get, to get out quick before she gets home. Thanks for watching.